Yep, it's time for my first time to play. My substitution for a Let's Play. First I'm gonna go ahead and switch the options so I can have Sonic alone. I like I like having Tails there, but only when someone else is controlling him, because I'm gonna try and go for the seven Chaos Emeralds, and it's really hard to do that with Tails as a computer. It's just frustrating. Sometimes he can just get in the way without even knowing it, and it's just ugh, maddening. Okay, so why do I call this uh, Time to Play instead of a Let's Play? Well, I just wanted to have a different name. You know, sometimes people will see a different name and they'll think, Oh, this is going to be a little something different. Well, this will try and be a little different from what everybody else does. Look at that. Not even a minute and I'm at the first bonus stage. I don't know how it's possible to fail on the first bonus stage. You must not even be trying, or... You must be dazed or confused, because if you can't get the first one, then... You suck and need more practice. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, you just... Need more practice. I forget how long it took me to actually do this, though. When I was a kid, I could at least get maybe the first two? I can't remember how many I could actually get. I know I just couldn't get a lot of them. <laughs> I was a kid, I couldn't do it. In fact, for the longest time, I thought it was impossible to do it without somebody controlling Tails, because then it would just be a lot easier. Recently, I just put this back in, and I've been playing it all over again, until I could finally just get the bonus stages down. I know you can actually get a Super Sonic before you reach Chemical Plant Zone without the cheat code and resetting it and all the other little cheats. It's possible to do it just by getting the 7 Chaos Emeralds, but... You have to know where they are, and I finally learned where they are. So that's not going to be a problem, it's just actually trying to get the Chaos Emeralds. See? That wasn't a problem at all. It doesn't even get harder until the fifth one, which is the one I think is probably going to be the most challenging. The Halfpipe Zone. Probably my second favorite bonus stage. And now to go back, get some other rings. Yep, there's a ring box there, a ring box there. Almost. Ah, there we go. I want that shield for protection. Whee! Wow, look at that. Good thing I don't need it. Not even three minutes and I'm at my second bonus stage. Not bad, not bad. Like I was saying, uh, I actually like the half-pipe zone. Second, my, my second favorite. My first would probably be the actual 3D bonus stages from Sonic CD. Just because it was the first time it actually felt like Sonic in 3D, but... That was basically the only time uh, in that game Sonic was in a 3D environment. Aw, oh, that always throws me off. You're not supposed to jump over it, you're supposed to go to the side and then just run around the half-pipe. That always throws me off. Well, it doesn't hurt me that much. I mean, I still met the quota. Yeah, there's gonna be some empty sections where I'm just not gonna talk because I'm trying to think of something to say. I mean, what am I supposed to say? How was your day? Huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, that bad, huh? Wow, that sucks. Hope it gets better for you. Oh, look at that. It's the second Chaos Emerald. And if I'm correct, I should reach 50,000 points. And when you and every time you reach 50,000 points, you get an extra life. And we're still at Emerald Hill Zone 1. I'm going to go back for a little bit because there's something I need to get. Those extra ten rings. Why do I need them? You'll find out. Well, it's very important right here that you want to run and not spin dash because then you can get into that little area a lot easier. In fact, it's almost impossible to do it while you're spin dashing. You're just going to miss it. The end of the zone is to the right, but I need that third Chaos Emerald. And as you can see, it's up there. So I just have to keep 
So I just have to keep going over here until there's a spring. Let's use it. Get some rings and... Ah! Undershot it. Let's try that this way. Ah, overshot it. Undershot it again. I'm not even going to try that time. Let's just use the spring. One, two, three. Whoa, barely made it. It used to not be a problem for me before, but now it's just a pain. Just like trying to get over there because sometimes they'll hit you with a coconut. See, that's the reason I got those 10 rings earlier, was because I could get an extra life, getting 100 rings right there. Otherwise, it just, I couldn't do it. For a while, the third bonus stage was actually throwing me off just because I wasn't paying attention. I was just rushing it, and I wasn't thinking. Why? Well, because this part's easy. And then I forgot that those guys come before the little rail, before the little line rail, before the little ring of line, before the little line of rings. And as you can see, it's actually very easy, but I just kept messing up. <laughs> Kind of like what I'm trying to say, I just kept messing up. Still have a stuttering problem. Oh, this part's pretty easy. You just kind of stay in the center, collect the rings, and jump whenever they come at you. And you do it three times, then you still stay in the center. You don't move because they'll get you. And there's some extra rings right there. So far, this is not a problem. Let's see, how does this one work? Oh, Nelly! Oh, that's right there on the side. Just got no one to jump, and ah! Ugh. Gotta pay attention. Gotta pay attention, don't wanna get hit. Can't afford to lose the rings. So far, so good, oh! Okay, I got hit, but I recovered, so... There's my third Chaos Emerald. And if you know math, we only have four more left. And we're still at Emerald Hill Zone. We're what? Seven... We're seven minutes, thirty seconds into this, and I'm still at Emerald Hill Zone. Even though the time says 2.20. But we're finally finished. And yes, I'm gonna do this little jumping thing just right here, just so I can prove that I know about this, because everybody knows about this. But later on, I'm not going to because, well, I'll explain when we get there. Now it's time to go for the next Chaos Emerald. But first, I need to clear off the area of all these enemies, and I need to press down when rolling on the bridge, because if you're if you're in a spin dash and you get to a bridge, it's weird. He'll go into his run, and then he'll get hit and take damage from those piranha robots. But if you hold down, he won't get hit. He'll just roll, he'll just roll over them. Very important to know that. Nice little ten rings here. I'm not too worried about him as long as you just get through there real fast. You know, for the longest time I did not know about this, but there's actually two goal posts here. There's one to the right on the second top of the loop, and there's one up here. But you have to get the one on the top first. Otherwise, if you get the one on the bottom... Otherwise, if you get the one that's on the second loop, this one won't count anymore. It'll just... It'll already be glowing, and you can't use it. Okay, we're on the fourth Chaos Emerald. It's not going to get too difficult here. It's actually... This one's probably kind of easy. It's just got to know where the rings are going to come from. And now would be a good time to start staying out of the center. Well, when you make those turns, you want to stay out of the center. Right, left, stay left, go down, stay left. Oh, this is fun. This is where you jump side to side. But you have to be careful because at one point some enemies do pop up. I believe it's, yeah, it's right here on the right. Then you jump. And then on the left going down, jump. And then on the right. See how easy that is? Gotta stay out of that center. Oop. 
Why haven't I learned yet? Oh, just go to the right. Go to the right. All right, now I can go down. And... Wow, oh, would you look at that? I am killing the ring count. And we're already at the fourth Chaos Emerald. And another extra life for me. And now all I have to do for this one is jump back over to the right, get to that little area, and get about 30 rings here. Okay, it's 29, my bad. But it's not that hard to get them. You just have to go back a little bit. A little backtracking, not so hard, not so difficult. Jump over here, get those 10 rings, and now go back. And we are at the fifth Chaos Emerald. It's a good thing YouTube updated its time limit. Updated, but it's not updated, it's... What is it? Increased. It's increased its time limit. Now the videos can go 15 minutes, and I'm going to try and use that. Oh, time for the top. Get some rings there. Should be some rings coming on the left, and then you want to go down real quick. And then, uh... Hmm. Oh, it's to the right, to the right. Center. Uh, right again. Oh my gosh, look at that. Barely made it. That's why the fifth one is so difficult. It's the first part that's just, you have to know where the rings are coming from, otherwise you're gonna fail. This part's not so difficult, you just have to follow the rings. Look at that. See, see how early I got it? Wow. Center, left, center, right. Oh, this is where they start getting higher and higher, making it a lot difficult to get that many of them. See, look at that. Now they're at the top. Oh, I completely missed it, but this part's pretty easy, so... Mm, look at that. I'm over the limit by 12 rings again. And look, the Chaos Emerald goes behind Sonic. How does that work? Shouldn't it be in front of him or something? I don't know. But hey, I got five Chaos Emeralds. Two more left? We're still here. Why does it do that little red bar? Whenever you get the Chaos Emerald from there, and you kill that enemy, there's that little... Uh, red... Well, you saw it. It was that red box thing after you killed the enemy. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. It just always happens. I messed up. I was supposed to go on top to get more rings. Ah, darn it. Can I still get enough? Eh, nope. Nope, I'm off by 11. Gotta go back. Oh, jeez, this area is full of spikes. Gotta be careful. Oh, jeez. Just go back on top. Jump to the side, and we'll spin dash our way out of here. Loop de loop. Oh, I already got that already. Whoopsie. Oh well. Oh, maybe I can get. Maybe I can just get the rings right here. Yep. All I have to do is make sure I don't get hit. Don't use the spring because I don't know where it really goes. I'm losing control here. Get back up there and spin dash. Okay, we'll try that again. And go. And go. And go. All right, we're ready for the sixth Chaos Emerald, but I'm all out of time. I continue on for the seven Chaos Emeralds, and maybe we'll actually be able to get out of Emerald Hill Zone and pay a visit to two other places. Just maybe.